Hi there, I'm Jessica. I'm a longtime community member over here at Vera and welcome to our volunteer orientation. We're super excited to have you. So to get started, we're going to do a quick icebreaker. Uh, at Vera, we do icebreakers before every meeting, show, orientation, and just because this one's digital doesn't mean we're gonna skip it. Um, here is a short clip introducing you to just some of our volunteers that you'll be working with um, and kind of the template we use for introductions and icebreakers is you say your name, what pronouns you use, and then whatever the icebreaker is for that night. Um, and so in this case, uh, it's what brought you to Vera. So I can get started. I'm Jessica, I use she, her pronouns. I have been a volunteer member, committee chair, um, just finishing up uh, four years of being on staff. Um, and I originally got involved with Vera it was because I needed volunteer hours and I loved going to concerts. Um, and then I just started volunteering at every show I could make it to, whether or not I knew any of the bands, um, and then saw that Vera was a spot to um, connect with people and grow your skills and like, make a difference within the community. And I thought that was really rad. So I got more and more involved with the steering committee. Um, and then uh, my senior year of high school, I got at, uh, hired on as a official staff member. Um, and yeah, there has been such an important spot to me and I'm really excited that you all get to be a part of it now. Hi, I'm Andrew, pronouns are he, him, and I am the gallery committee chair at Vera Project. We focus on the gallery walls and want to bring through artists that are both from the Vera community and elsewhere. And yeah, we meet every two months and hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Brianna. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, and I'm an assistant house manager at the Vera Project. What brought me to Vera is the fact that I love volunteering and I love music. Vera is the perfect place to gain experiences in both of those things. It's also been awesome getting to meet so many different people who share the same interests that I do. What's up, everybody? My name is Case Macklin. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. And I've been a volunteer at the Vera Project now for about five years. Um, what got me into the Vera Project was the local music scene. Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are musicians that have gotten to perform shows at the Vera. And those have been some of the coolest concerts that I've gotten to go to in Seattle. Um, and the whole community at the Vera Project is awesome. It's all youth-led, and it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Hope to see you around. Hi, I'm Maya, and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the steering chair here at Vera Project and a house manager. And what brought me to the space is All Ages Music. Hi, I'm Mayunza. I am a house manager at the Vera Project, also a member of the steering committee. I use he, him pronouns, and what brought me to the Vera Project was the community of the Vera Project, uh, namely Maya, sitting next to me. Hi, my name is Sia. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a volunteer at Vera. I first found out about Vera by coming to my friend's show there, and fell in love with the space and really liked the people I met, and been there ever since. Vera is also a safe space, meaning there's no drugs, alcohol, weapons, hate speech, bigotry. Um, we want to ensure that we create a safe and comfortable spot for everyone in our community. And this also extends into any of the digital work we're doing or if we're volunteering offsite. Um, if at any time you are witnessing or experiencing any of the things that violate the safe space policy, please let a staff member know so that we can take care of it. COVID-19 changes. So all shows, in-person classes, and meetings have been canceled or moved to online platforms. On-site presence during closure is limited uh, with proper screening and cleaning measures taken. And if safe to do so, we hope to conduct limited in-person programming in phase three. However, that's subject to change. We wanna make sure everyone's safe and not put any of our community at risk. And Vera is committed to providing personal protective equipment to all participants. How to become a volunteer? Uh, becoming a volunteer at Vera is super easy. You are already doing step one by attending this orientation. Um, and your next step is going to be filling out our volunteer application. The password to get into that application is at the end of this presentation. So just hold tight. 
Um, it'll take uh, a couple days to process your application, but after that, you'll be receiving a confirmation email. And um, please do know that we kind of had to adjust what information is in this orientation. So once in-person programming resumes back up at Vera, you'll have a part two um, that'll show you what volunteer opportunities are actually available and um, any additional preparations or applications you may need to fill out. Um, we don't really know when that looks like, to be honest, and I just wanted to put it on your radar uh, that your education about Vera is ongoing. <laughs> what does volunteering look like right now? So we've had to get a little creative in the ways that folks engage with Vera. Um, we've had a couple zines that we've made, and some of those submissions have made it into our Vera TV live streams, which we'll be talking about in a couple slides. Um, we also have uh, regularly occurring hangout calls and committee meetings um, that folks can join and then start working on smaller projects together. Um, we've also done a couple offsite opportunities, um, including screen printing some protester information and signage uh, over at CHOP slash CHAZ. Um, and all this information is sent out via our volunteer Google group email list. Uh, this is our primary way with communicating with you. And you can also uh, change how often you get those messages as well. Becoming a member. Uh, so a Vera member is a volunteer who wants to get more involved with the organization and have more of a voice within Vera. Um, with this comes voting rights, uh, class discounts, and access to exclusive volunteer and educational opportunities. Normally, this is in exchange for six volunteer hours a quarter, but due to COVID-19, we're waiving the hours requirement. All you have to do is fill out an application and start attending our quarterly members meetings. Uh, our next one will be via Zoom on October 8th. One of the easiest ways to get started at Vera is through a committee. Uh, committees are groups of folks with shared interests that meet regularly and help make Vera run. Um, we have six committees that are currently active that are doing work to keep the organization afloat. Um, so our first of which is FACE, which stands for Fostering Advocacy and Community Engagement. They do a lot of work with voter education and voter turnout, uh, community engagement, uh, kind of representing what social issues uh, matter to Vera most and trying to figure out how to do work within the community to um, take care of that. Uh, they have helped us out with our Vera TV live streams. They've created voter education zines. Up next is our screen printing committee. They're in charge of our studio at Vera, ensuring that the space is accessible and that folks of all ages and abilities can learn how to screen print. Um, they also are in charge of printing all of our shirts and merch and posters. And we've also been working with them recently to print out uh, protest signs and information. Veracity is our booking committee. Uh, Pre-COVID, they would book about once a month uh, DIY shows in our gallery space featuring local and young artists and would learn the whole process from booking the bands, doing the marketing, working the show night of. Um, and the way we've kind of pivoted that programming is uh, having Veracity takeovers on our Vera TV YouTube channel where they curate all of the artists. If there's any educational components or other fun things, they put that all together and are working on highlighting young artists and that people still have a space to perform and get themselves out there um, while we can't all physically be together. The audio committee is in charge of both our live showroom and recording studio spaces and maintaining and upkeeping all of the equipment that lives there. It's a good spot for anyone interested in audio, regardless of skill level, um, and a really good spot to meet other engineers and folks interested in that side of the production world. Um, and we also have a cool variety of audio classes that I'll be talking about in a sec. Uh, some of which are taught by our very own audio committee members. The gallery committee is in charge of the gallery space and murals at Vera. 
They're the ones that put out calls for art, uh, hosting exhibitions, working exhibitions. And right now they are currently working on a series of artist interviews, especially with folks that have either shown up era before or who had their shows canceled due to COVID-19. And um, while we're kind of working on updating and improving Vera while the general public can't be in there. We're also working on refreshing and updating all of our murals and making sure the space feels very welcoming and creative when you walk in. Our last committee is the steering committee. Uh, traditionally, there are kind of volunteer recruitment and retention folks. They uh, would work at shows and kind of show you how to do your position you know, the first time you ever worked a show um, and like check in on you throughout the night. And in general, if you mention that you're interested in maybe trying an audio class, like helping you figure out that process. Um, and right now we're kind of in like a, a state of flux where we're trying to reprioritize what steering is all about and kind of giving more structure and goals to the work that we do. Vera TV. Um, so on Friday nights at our YouTube channel, we have weekly streams featuring music from local and national acts, educational segments, commercials uh, that are both either fun or informative. Um, and when we return to in-person programming, we'll be doing some of this live um, and volunteer opportunities will be coming from that. Um, so how you can contribute right now, um, the easiest way is through a committee. Uh, Veracity, like I mentioned, uh, does Vera TV takeovers where they curate an entire episode. Face contributed heavily to our Cancel Rent Now live stream uh, via both zines, um, creating um, segments, and um, helping out with like bumpers, which are like short transitional videos. Um, kind of general opportunities uh, we send out to our email list. So that could be helping out with the zine pages um, responding to prompts in a video segment, or, um, if you want to make a bumper, feel free to send us one. Um, and also performing, uh, especially with veracity, we are definitely looking for folks to come and contribute to those streams. Classes, uh, Vera is an educational space. Uh, our current class offerings, which are all online, include anything from zine workshops to music mixing and recording, merch embroidery, live streaming, and more. Um, you can find them all on our website at theveraproject.org slash classes. Um, and we do have scholarships available and discounts for our members. Meet our staff. Uh, these are the folks that help make sure that Vera is running smoothly day to day and are a resource that you can go to if you have any questions or want to figure out how to do a cool project. Uh, these are the folks to go to. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the executive director of the Vera Projects. Uh, I do a little bit of everything at Vera, um, but I mostly focus on making sure that we're sustainable, that we can keep going and continue doing the things that we do best in service of the community. Uh, if you ever need anything while you're at Vera, feel free to find me. Send me an email anytime at ricky at theveraproject.org. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jason Clack. I'm the artistic director, he, him pronouns. Uh, I provide uh, access and opportunities for young voices uh, in our shared communities. Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and I use they, them pronouns. I'm the education manager here at Vera and some of the things I do include managing our classes and workshops and developing new learning opportunities for volunteers, members, and folks in the community. Looking forward to seeing you around. Hi, my name is Mitch. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the audio tech lead at the Vera Project. I typically help with production in the studio and the venue. Uh, I help write curriculum for the audio-related classes, and I fix the broken things. Uh, feel free to ask me about anything audio-related pertaining to Vera. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. I'm the operations and facilities coordinator at the Vera Project. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, my job is to make sure that everything in the building is working and that Vera's schedule makes sense. Um, I oversee merch production, um, I operate the information desk, and I do a bunch of other stuff that I don't have time to talk about. Hi, my name is Yasmin Shakalia. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm the marketing coordinator for the Vera project right now. Um, I basically just 
update our, all our social media and send out newsletters and anything else that pertains to marketing and social media in general. Hello, my name is Tony Eham. In addition to being a volunteer and house manager, I am the custodian. So I help keep the facilities nice and clean for everyone who wants to come in. So what's next? Um, you'll fill out your volunteer application. The password to get in is get creative with a capital G and a capital C. It is case sensitive. Um, if you have any trouble and it's not working, feel free to hit up volunteer at theveraproject.org and we can get you all situated. Um, and kind of what's next is like join a committee, take a class, um, work on a project, contribute to a live stream. Thanks. Uh, we're super excited to have you on the team. Vera is really like a, a really special and creative community that I've definitely like had the honor of being a part of. And you get to become like a part of this cool group of people doing cool things. And I think that's really amazing. Um, I hope to see you soon. Please let us know if you have any questions and thanks for sticking around.